Hi everyone, my name is Glenn Feist. I'm with my main man Joe Paulos, and we're in Las Vegas, Nevada, and we're GuitarPlayersClub.com. That's players with a Z. And this is the second free lesson. Uh, today, first lesson, we went over the warm-up. Today we're starting to get into music concept. Okay, at the end of the first lesson, I talked about 12 notes in music. I'm going to be using a board here to help explain. There's two concepts you have to keep in mind to reach our objective. Our objective today is to find out within seconds, to know within seconds what note you're playing. Like if I play this note. Okay, the objective of today's lesson is to, is to learn guitar theory and the purpose of this guitar theory is to when I play this note you could have a guitar player that for a year, two years, they're practicing, they play that note, they, one of their friends say, what is that? I don't know. So the object, the objective of this is to teach so in seconds you can figure it out. Okay? Now, how we do that is there's two concepts you have to learn. The names or the notes of the open strings, which we're going to come back to in a second, and the other concept is the 12 notes in music. Okay, so there's 12 notes in music. Doesn't matter which instrument, as I said earlier, and there's seven whole notes, as simply as A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And those whole notes are going to follow each other. I'll show you what I mean by that in a second. So the 12 notes in music, seven of which are whole notes, 12 minus 7 is 5. Now, as you can see from this, B goes right to C and E goes right to F. Okay, so the important notes are B and E. What I want you to remember, however you need to remember it, spelling B, bumblebee, honeybee, killer bee, if you remember B and E, B, this tic-tac-toe symbol is called a sharp. Now, sharp is also a flat, but we're not going to worry about that. That'll come later, okay? This is for beginners. We're going to just concentrate on this tic-tac-toe symbol as a sharp. So the 12 notes in music are A, A sharp, B, right to C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, right to F, F sharp, G, and G sharp. Okay? If you visualize this line of notes in your mind, the important thing, like I said, is to remember B and E. Whenever you play B, it, the next note will always be C. Whenever you play E, the next note will always be F. And that's extremely important on the guitar, more so than the piano, because three of your six strings on the guitar are B and E. I'll show you that in a second. Okay, so I want you to always visualize this mind. When you keep this, this line in your mind, that's one half of the concept. The other part of the concept is to know the strings, and the strings are going to be your starting point. So what I mean by that, the strings are, for right-handed players, the strings are, from your lap to your chin, E, B, G, D, A, E. Well, right away, we can eliminate... One more time. High E, B, G, D, A, and low E. So to memorize this, right away, we can... High E and low E, we've just taken six things to memorize down to five. Okay, so now I'm not going to write up... What I normally do when I teach lessons is, for beginners, is I'll say, every bunny... Everybody gets dinner at evening. And let's just use that. You can make up anything you want. Everybody gets dessert at Easter. Whatever memory device you want to use is fine. But, the pro but then the problem is, is you have to... We'll go back to every boy gets dinner at evening. You have to memorize it so you can say it backwards. Evening at dinner gets boy ever. You can make up anything you want as long as you memorize it up and down. And the purpose of memorizing it up and down is so that when I say the D string, you're not thinking E, B, G, D. It'll come, become sort of automatic. So those are two things you can do without having a lot of... This concept you can do without having a lot of skill is knowledge. So you need to memorize the strings from, the, from your lap up for a right-handed player. E, B, G, D, A, E, E, A, D, G, B, E, and this line, when you visualize this line in your mind, now I'll show you, I'm going to put this down and I'll show you what I talked about at the beginning, how to 
know which note it is. Okay? So, actually, I'll need to. I'll need to. So, for example, if you visualize that line, that line, earlier I said three out of six strings are E and B. Three out of six strings are E and B, which means B and E. So we're going to start on the high E string. So E goes right to F. Okay, that's true on high E. E goes right to F. High E and low E are going to be the same exact for the notes. The only thing different is it's an octave lower. So there's 12 notes. There's 12 notes in music. And for the beginners, there's 12 notes in music. And that's why usually the guitars that have dots, you're going to have two dots on the 12th fret. Okay? And that is the octave, which we're going to get into in a minute. Okay? So guitars that have dots, acoustic, electric, same thing. That's why you see two dots on the 12th fret, because there's 12 notes of music. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, now let's go back to the concept I was referring to. Okay, so if you, if you keep that line of notes in your mind, E goes right to F. F sharp is the second fret. This is the name of the note on the second fret. G. G sharp. A. Now all I'm doing is following this line, okay? Like I said, we started on the E string. E is the name or the note of the open first string and the low sixth string, which is also E. That, this is E. That is E. When I squeeze the first fret, it became F. When I squeeze the second fret, it became F sharp. When I squeeze the third fret, it's G. When I squeeze the fourth fret, it's G sharp. So if you know the names of the strings and you follow this line, it's then going to go to A. So the fifth fret becomes A. The sixth fret becomes A sharp. The seventh fret becomes B. The eighth fret, there's one of the special two notes, B and E. B goes right to C. There is no B sharp. There is no E sharp. So this becomes C. B on the seventh fret. C on the eighth fret. C sharp is the ninth. Tenth is D. D sharp is the eleventh, back to E. So now when I put this board down, here's what I'm talking about. E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, right to C. There is no B sharp. C sharp, D, D sharp, and this is high E. So here's E, here's E an octave higher. Just like we're doing for the E strings, high E, low E. So everything I just said on the high E string is the same on the low E string. E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, right to C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E. So E, F, G, E, F, G. So don't let that intimidate you. All I want to get across was these, the two concepts. You have to memorize the names or notes of the strings. So you play the open string, E string, B string, G string, D string. That's what I mean. When you play this, this string, which is A, that note is just A. You don't have to finger the fingerboard, okay? And then visualize this line in your mind. The next lesson we're going to be getting into this not only pertains to one single note, and that was the objective of that lesson, was to figure out which note we're playing. So that, that this line not only pertains to single notes like we just did, but it pertains to chords. You would follow this for chords also. That's how important it is. Okay, we'll catch you later. Thank you.